Hello everyone, today we're going to be working on Commodore the Gaming Student Army Bunker. We are going to be improving the security room, by which I just added a camera to the schematic camera to the hospital here. Right here in the middle is where you can see literally everything. We got security in the other two main places. We could use a camera in the engine as well. So let's put one there. It's going to go right there. And um, we need to set up more monitors. So that goes down. We want that uh, down as well. Okay. Let's do all of this. Hook this camera up, please. Same rigmaroo, pretty much. All right, that's what we wanted. But we can't, yeah, that is, yeah, that is what we want. Is there anything really above here that we need to worry about? No, okay. That gives us something to work with, but also not really. But we can stick with that, but we won't. <laughs> that looks ugly. Delete that, drag this, Excel. So that's that. What we can do is we can get rid of this and do kind of like a transition here. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but we can transition this into not one, not one by twos, um, two by twos. And then do the same thing again, but we need to make sure these are all linked. Ew. No, we can, we can still do this. We can still do this. Just put one by twos here instead. Or just put another two by two right there. And that solves our entire shoot. It's not going to look the greatest. But it will still work, and that's really all that's important. Right there. That should be working. Correct. Yes. Now you can see if there's a fire, which will be helpful, I guess. And we also need electricity going to that, so we'll hook that up as well. Never forget to hook up electricity when you're playing. The, when you're playing, because I forget to do that, and it screws me up so much when I forget to. So we're just gonna hook that up there, and then let's try and add. Some Fire suppression. This is not going to go well, <laughs> but we will try and do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a toggle button. Actually, well we can, we don't even a, a two by there, two by two there. We just need a one by two because you don't really need to see much to tell if there's a fire going on. That up, toggle button, there we go. Paint, 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 paint. Engine room. Fire suppression. Default state is gonna be off. Make sure we have electricity going to this. All right, so we're gonna have fire suppression. We need, I've never actually hooked up something like this before. So we need a fluid cannon. I'm, I don't think it's gonna fit. Yeah, this is definitely not going to fit. Not with the amount of space everything is taking up in here. We can bring this piping down slightly. No, we can't. Well, yeah, we can. It might actually benefit. It'll definitely benefit space. So let's do that. So that should hopefully add room for our fluid cannon by doing this. We'll wait for that. We'll wait. We'll wait to add this curve till the end here. There we go. Now hopefully we can add our fluid cannon. Need that bright red. No, we still can't. Okay, so that's not gonna work. So what can we do is the question. Maybe we can try putting it on the on the ground. No, that won't work either. I want to have. Like a fire suppression system in here, but I just don't think we're gonna have room. We'd have to remove this generator in order to do that, or would we actually? I think we can fit it right here if we move whatever this is. Let's move this further back. But now we should be able to fit this. Here we go. That's better. Much better. Now we just need to find the hole for the, the pipe. The. What? what I'm, so, I'm just. What? Okay, whatever. We'll just we'll, we'll replace it. Like so. No biggie. There we go. And we're gonna get a pipe angle, an enclosed one, and bring this down into the ocean. Like so. We're also gonna get- we also need a pump. So I'm gonna import that supercharge pump I was talking about in the last episode. Oh my goodness, where is it? Did I uninstall it? Okay, here it is. Can that work? I'm not sure that'll work. It might work, but it might not. I don't think it will. That's fine though. We don't need something too- we don't need something too- but we need enough. Uh, okay, this is the one thing I hate about doing this is it's kind of complicated. Fluid in, fluid out. Work, right? Yes, could work. Just straight, just go straight up. One thing you need to know in this game is how to actually cramp stuff. If you can't do that, playing this game is going to be very annoying to- Oh, hold on. We can just go around. Yeah, we can just go around that. Go up and over and around. Just gonna paint this red so that way you know something is here. This is four if you see it. But it doesn't matter because everything else down here is the exact same color. But, might as well try. Alright, and we have the fire suppression system button right here. This toggles... Where's the pump? 
right here. Talk is the pump, and we don't really need the nozzle to turn. I don't think. If we need to, we can probably get it to do that. Dream fire suppression, and we got water flowing in here. Let's go into photo mode. It's gonna be easier and slower. Okay, so it's shooting out. So if there is any fire, fine. Can't really do anything else. Like we can't turn because there's this. There's not like even if we did, we can only move it like this way, not this way. We'd have to move everything again if we did that. And even then, we'd, ha we'd have to go all. We'd have to go up, down, left, and right, not just one or the other. Let's hook up that camera. It is hooked up. We need it being on the on constant on signal and that should be completely working yep it is you can see it's right then if you really can put some equipment there see so yeah, i had some equipment just in case the fire spritz doesn't work we're just gonna add some more blocks back here and yeah that's gonna wrap it up so yeah